So if I was gonna, if I was given this graph, and let's just kind of do one by one. If I said what is f of one, that means we're looking for the value of the function at f of one. So we go to one and we say what is the value of the function? Well, the output value, right? That's the value of the function. So we find the y value or the f of x value, and we see that it is equal to two. So we say f of one is equal to two. Now the limit is something different. The limit is saying what is the value approaching as x gets closer to 1 from the left. Remember the table? From the left as well as from the right. So you can basically kind of take like your two fingers and kind of like squeeze the graph and say, all right, from the left and from the right, what y value or f of x value am I getting closer and closer to? Or am I approaching? 2. Oh, OK. Well, well that was easy. All right, I'm done. That was it. Yes? Same answer. Yeah. But it's not always the case. Let's look at the next one, f of 0. We go to f of 0, and we notice there's a hole. So we obviously know that it's undefined there, but there is a dot here that is being in replacement of that. So therefore, at f of 0 is equal to negative 1. So it doesn't jump, but then it does. It's a hole. That's a hole. Right? It's not available there, but it's available there. Yes? So now, the next thing is let's answer the limit question. The limit question is saying, but then what is the value that the graph is approaching? So again, we follow our fingers here, and we see that it's approaching, not negative 1, it's approaching what? Positive 1. So notice these answers are different. They're not the same. The value is not the same as the limit. So it doesn't matter if there's a hole there? No, it's where it's approaching, not the actual value. Let's go and look at f of negative 3. So we go to negative 3. f of negative 3 is not up there. That's undefined, right? That's a hole. That's the filled in line. So that's going to be also negative 1. However, where is it approaching? Well, from the left, it looks like it's approaching 2. From the right, it's approaching negative 1. So is it approach? Can we write, ne can we write 2 comma negative 1 like some people did up here? No, 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 right? You can only value write one, one number. So since it's approaching two different numbers, does not exist. And then the last one, guys, we have f of 2. Well, we go to 2. That's obviously an asymptote, right? Asymptotes are undefined values. So that does not exist. And now we look at this and we say, oh, well, it's approaching positive infinity and negative infinity. It's going in two different directions. So when it says f2. That's the value of the function. So again, that does not exist. So that is your basics for evaluating from a graph.